So we're working hard to get this property ready for the opener, which for us is in two, two weeks. On part of the property, we have some cattle. We have uh, access to the, to the south end of the property through a gate. We don't want to use the gate. We want it to be a little bit quicker, a little bit easier in the dark. So we are putting a custom made quad and six wheeler cattle guard in. We're gonna show you that, and then we'll also get you updated on a few of the blinds. One blind that uh, if you've been paying attention, if you've been watching some of our other videos, you haven't actually seen yet. When we did the blind video, a tree had fallen on it, and now we got it going. So stay tuned, check it out. The blinds are coming along. Man, they are looking so good. I cannot wait to sit in them, shoot some ducks. up here and then we'll get this all hot. Oh. Yeah, that's good too. Sauteed mushrooms on it and it's, I mean, it's perfect. Behind me is a blind that we have not shown you guys yet. Actually, uh, a branch from right here had fallen over this when we were doing our blind video. Anyway, we call this the pocket, and this is just a tiny little hole, little pond here that uh, the ducks were certainly piled up in last winter when we were looking at the property. So PT's been working on this blind. Pretty stinking awesome. We'll clear a little bit of this, a little bit of this branch. This is gonna be a fun blind. Yeah, boomerang blind. Boom. All fixed up. Looking good. Uh, we finalized that. And uh, so here's a, here's a couple clips of that. Here's a quick flyover of our corn. Some of it is already starting to get some water in it. It's a bit of a battle we're in with the beavers. Trying to keep it dry until we decide to flood it ourselves. But the corn is looking so good. This should hold a lot of birds. And the last thing we want to show you in this video is our Willow Pond blind. This hunting blind is really, really coming together. So this pond here is going to be our best duck hunting pond. It is in a prime location. Right now it's holding anywhere from 150 to 300 birds every time we go into the area. It is going to be really good. It is a natural spring. The spring water comes out of the ground warm, so in the winter, when everything else freezes over, this will not freeze. The blinds on this 
pond were pretty bad. We, we didn't like them. They were very small, very compact, just not great. So we decided to really put some effort into this blind, completely rebuild it, and it is looking so good. PT has pretty well done all the work on this blind, so shout out to him. And uh, here he is hauling all this brush across the water. Next year we plan on putting a path, a footpath, a dry footpath, all the way out to this blind, as well as fixing up the, the blind on the other side and making it big as well. We want to learn it a little bit, learn what the ducks do, learn how they respond uh, before we really build stuff that's uh, more permanent. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.